<laughs> also on the show, they cover over two thirds of the planet and produce 50% of the oxygen we need. But to keep them healthy, the oceans need our help. We Plus, they can travel at over 200 miles per hour, and every day, over 70 people need an air ambulance. But if these choppers aren't in the peak of fitness, they're grounded. We Amazing, that. Mm, mm. What an operation. Indeed. Well, someone who's definitely in the peak of their fitness is dancer Nancy <laughs> Shu. She's stepping into the Strictly Fitness Club for the first time this series. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to have you with us. Nancy, what have you got for us today? <laughs> Chill, easy, only legs. Chilled and easy, only legs. Yes. That's if you're standing up, though, if you're in the chair for the modified version, it's going to be everything, isn't it? I was going to add some body section, but it's yeah. chill, easy. Yes. You only focus on your legs. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and as always, if you want to join in the conversation today, I'll make... Let's show the team on the ground with like that. <laughs> That's absolutely fascinating. Imagine having that job. I know, they're very they skilled, to... aren't they? Must be, have to be, don't they? Do. they? <laughs> Well, the Wales Air Ambulance Charity now has a helicopter flying 24-7, which means they can save even more lives. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for all your comments on the show today. We absolutely love hearing from you, especially when you add into the conversation. And just on that, actually, uh, James Stewart was with us uh, earlier. A dredged, really good point. Thank you, mm -hmm. Rachel. Always get involved with our chat on Morning Live. We love it. And make sure you can get involved with this as well. It's Strictly Fitness. Cue the music. Nancy has been wait, waiting patiently <laughs> and now she's ready to go. Look out, everyone. Is that, is that the first move? Is that the first? No, it's not the first no. move. Okay. It's a warm up. Settle down, what we're doing. Talk us through it. So today we do very easy leg exercise. Then. Okay. Yeah. So just follow me. We do lunges. Each leg we do four times. Two. Simple but effective. And three. Very simple, chill, okay. easy, yes. What am I doing? And then we change. So, for the modified version, we follow again. Yeah. You do one. Okay, leg kicks. Each side Probably. four times. Okay, got you. Yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah. Next and up. And the other side, normal. Yeah. Like this. Okay. One, two. Gotcha. Perfect. And side to side. <laughs> All you have to do is cross your body. One, yes. Two. Three. This is the second move. Four. And then we do side lunges. Cool. Yeah. I'm glad I'm in the chair. <laughs> I like this. Show. <laughs> hey, easy. The last one is really easy for you. We use our upper body just trying to <laughs> touch your toe. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, amazing. For us, we're just normal. We just do something. We just normal do sports. normal. But really simple but effective today. Yeah, but you have to focus like on your course, okay? okay. Don't arch your back. Look. Don't do this. We don't know. We are we are all Hold. standing by with good form. Alan, take it away. With a lower body workout, it's Nancy Shoe. <laughs> Oh, they like. That was brilliant. We love you. Uh, make sure you join us tomorrow because Dr. Rupi tells us about the foods which can be used to battle the effects of arthritis. Ralph Wilding is back with Warning of the Week for anyone that claims tax credits. And Maya Jama tells us how she's joining forces with Peter Crouch to celebrate this year's Euros. We'll see you tomorrow. Why have you stopped, Nancy? Why would you stop? I can't believe it. Plus, they can travel at over 200 miles per hour, and every day, over 70 people need an air ambulance. 
But if these choppers aren't in the peak of fitness, they're grounded. We see amazing that. Mm, mm. What an operation. Indeed. Well, someone who's definitely in the peak of their fitness is dancer Nancy <laughs> Shu. She's stepping into the Strictly Fitness Club for the first time this series. <laughs> It's lovely to have you with us. Nancy, what have you got for us today? <laughs> Chill, easy, only legs. Chilled and easy, only legs. Yes. That's if you're standing up, though, if you're in the chair for the modified version, it's going to be everything, exactly. isn't it? We're going to add some body section, but it's yeah. chill, easy. Yes. You only focus on your legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as always, if you want to join... But it's yeah. chill, easy. Yes. You only focus on your legs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and as always, if you want, she joins us right now. Morning, Dr. Poonam. Good morning. morning. Lovely to see you. I thought we'd start off with a really easy question to answer. And it comes from a headline in the papers this morning saying, before Britain vaccinates children, should it vaccinate the world? How do you start God, with that? An easy question, not. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, so Matt Hancock on Friday last week announced that he would prioritise or he was wanting to prioritise vaccinating children, so those over 12 where we're looking into vaccinating at the moment, um, over donating vaccines to the rest of the world. So it's a very complex issue and not easy. Um, you know, global health bodies have concerns that prioritising low risk members of the population is not wise over helping the rest of the world. I think what we need to understand is this pandemic is a global issue issue. We have to do everything we can to contain the, the pandemic in our country um, and to basically make sure that our transmission rates are low. But mm. as soon as we're in a position to, you know, we do have a duty of care to the rest of the world. So it needs to be a global effort. Mm. Mm. But how do the long term effects compare to other viruses? Yeah, so the fact is we don't know. Long COVID is a very complex and it's a novel disease that we're learning new stuff about at the moment. Um, we've never seen anything like it before. And with this condition, symptoms tend to develop after 12 weeks and people are really debilitated by it. So the Office for National Statistics has released um, data showing that 869,000 people have reported and suffering from long COVID symptoms and often 59,000, I think it was, um, people who are reporting having long COVID symptoms a year down the line. Mm -hmm. Now, symptoms have been things like fatigue, um, aches and pains, brain fog, shortness of breath. And these numbers really reflect what I'm seeing in my surgery every day. I'm seeing people who were previously fit and healthy, you know, young mums, um, professionals, students who have been left debilitated and signing them off work. They've had lots of absences. They're struggling to even make it to the toilet. So it's a huge problem that's on the rise. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all about the results of this study, which is showing how exhausted and burnt out NHS workers are. Now, what compassion fatigue is, if you've got people that are continuously exposed to high levels of work and demand, pressure, seeing trauma after trauma, if you think about what those on the front lines have been seeing. As a GP, I've heard unimaginable stories, the, re the level of death that we've had to deal with, people working in emergency care, acute medicine, intensive care, that over time leads to emotional and physical exhaustion. Goodness. You become completely emotionally blunt um, and this is the risk that we face right now, that if we already have issues with staff retention and recruitment, these people are burning out. What's the future of the healthcare looking like if we don't have staff? Yeah. Um, so it is very promising. It's very exciting. It's still at the early stages. It won't be available yet. But to be honest, with 30 million people across the world suffering from Alzheimer's, anything that we can do to try and prevent, delay um, or treat the, the problem will be hugely welcomed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're so right. Thank you so much, Dr. Poonam. Thank you. The team on the ground would like that. <laughs> That's absolutely fascinating. Imagine having that job. I know, they're very the skilled, aren't they? They must be, have Brilliant. to be, don't they? Do. <laughs> well, the Wales Air Ambulance Charity now has a helicopter flying 24-7, which means they can save even more lives. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for all your comments on the show today. We absolutely love hearing from you, especially when you add into the conversation. And just on that, actually, uh, James Stewart is with us. Uh, really good point. Thank you, mm -hmm. Rachel. Always get involved with our chat on Morning Live. We love it. And make sure you can get involved with this as well. It's Strictly Fitness. Cue the music. Nancy has been wait, waiting patiently. And now she's ready to go. Look out, everyone. Is that, is that the first move? Is that the first? No, it's not the first no. move. Okay. It's a warm up. Settle down. What we're doing. Talk us through it. So today we do very easy leg exercise. Then. Okay. Yeah. 
So just follow me. We do lunges. Each leg we do four times. Two. Simple but effective. And three. Very simple, chill, okay. easy. Yes. What am I doing? And then we change. So for the modified version, we follow get. Yeah. You do one. Okay, leg kicks. Each side Lovely. four times. Okay, got you. Yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah. Next and then up. the other side, normal. Yeah. Like this. Okay. One, two. Gotcha. Perfect. And side to side. <laughs> All you have to do is cross your body. One, yes. Two, three. This is the second move. Four. And then we do side lunges. Ooh, yeah? I'm glad I'm in the chair. <laughs> I like these. Show. <laughs> hey, easy. The last one is really easy for you. We use our up body, just trying to <laughs> touch your toe. <laughs> Lovely. Yes, amazing. For us, we just normal. We just do. We just normal do course. normal. But really simple but effective today. Yeah, but you have to focus like on your course, okay? okay. Don't arch your back. Look. Don't do this. We don't. Know. We are. We are all Hold. standing by with good form. Alan, take it away with a lower body workout. It's Nancy Shoe. <laughs> That was brilliant. We love you. Uh, make sure you join us tomorrow because Dr. Rupi tells us about the foods which can be used to battle the effects of arthritis. Ralph Wilding is back with warning of the week for anyone that claims tax credits. And Maya Jama tells us how she's joining forces with Peter Crouch to celebrate this year's Euros. We'll see you tomorrow. Why have you stopped, Nancy? Why would you stop? I can't believe it.